By 1974, North Vietnamese troops had violated the Paris Peace Accords and renewed their assault on the South. It was clear the Republic of Vietnam would fall. In April of 75, North Vietnamese troops approached the southern capital of Saigon. President Gerald Ford ordered all U.S. troops and citizens out of the country. To permit the movement of refugees to the area of their choice. And on April 29th, Armed Forces Radio began playing White Christmas to signal an evacuation was underway. Captain Gerald Berry was assigned to rescue U.S. Ambassador Graham Martin. The mission evolved into an 18-hour day of shuttling people to an armada of ships waiting in the South China Sea. And as Berry flew toward the U.S. Embassy in Saigon, he could see enemy tanks approaching the city. So I land behind the embassy, said, I'm, I'm here to get the ambassador. Because I'm thinking somebody told him I was coming to get him. Well, then somebody else uh, gets on the phone and said, well, the ambassador isn't coming. I said, well, really? I thought, said, I'm supposed to get him. Well, no, he's not. So take a lift of these. So they loaded Vietnamese on. In the early hours of April 30th, despite multiple flights with hundreds of evacuees and with time running out, Barry uttered three words that meant it was imperative for the U.S. diplomat to leave. I'm not leaving the roof until the ambassador's on board. And uh, out of nowhere, I just, I said, the president sends. Two minutes later, the ambassador's up with his whole staff to come, come out. That's all we needed, probably needed. I could have said that at 12 in the afternoon. So he comes up, gets on, we fly out with the ambassador, and you make the call, you know, tiger, 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 that means the ambassador's out. Personally, I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed that uh, we've, uh, the United States of America is uh, being humiliated uh, and is leaving uh, an area that we had come to defend. And uh, we've been defeated. Uh, yes, we've chosen to leave, but we've chosen to leave because it's no longer defendable with the resources that we have uh, chosen to commit. And the limits that we have put on our involvement in South Vietnam.